Hello. Hello, you. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> well, you keep saying that a lot, and then we keep going again. We're like uh, Cher. Oh, re- like, yeah. Keep coming back. Yeah. Like a bad smell. Hello. Well, it's Saturday. What month is it? It's... I it, don't know what month it is. It's April. April. It's middle of April. Middle of April. <laughs> April... Oh, I can't work it out. April... 13th. No, that's the temperature. No, 13th, it's, yeah, it's, it's the 13th. It's, it's the temperature <laughs> and the date. This is reflection of how our lives are right now. <laughs> That's so we thought sucks. we'd do a little chatty weekend catch up because we have not done a proper catch up since 2023. We're off out, we're in terms of beach because we live near the New Forest and there's a lovely beach we found, so that's quite exciting. Yeah, off to Leap and then we've got it. Dog Paddock and we've got food and I don't know, just a general catch up. We'll take you with us for the day because we've not done it for a while. Yeah, so first of all, we need to take the dog out for a quick tinkle before he gets in the car. We'll see you on the road. <laughs> see you on the road. <laughs> Solent and the Isle of Wight. Oh yeah. He knows where he is. He's getting all excited. So it's like a little restaurant building, coffee shop type thing up there. We've never actually been in there. It's a little sandy bit in front of the cafe. The dogs aren't allowed in. Now it's summer. We've arrived, Marshall. A new suite. This on first. David's just changing over the um, car harness to dog lead. I've got towels and a rucksack. We bought the hammock for the back of the car. <laughs> it's pretty much destroyed. He's a big heavy boy. Stick that in the boot. Bought another uh, cordless trimmer from Lidl the other day. Still in the boot. Right, rucksack, beach. Let's go. So I know it's gonna be very windy on the camera, so apologies. Lovely though, lovely, 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 lovely leap. Come on, Marshall. Come on, Marshall. Just had a, you just had a wee wee? Yeah, come on, Let's wait, show you some highlights of the beach. Oh no, he's having a poo on a log. What are you there for? Pooing on a log? Oh my day. <laughs> he just pooed on that log. Literally pooed on it. Please don't judge. Marshall's made a friend. Hello friend. Hello friend. Bye bye friend. <laughs> right. We've been here a few times and David's ankle is not a fan of the beach. Marshall's realised he likes eating sand, doesn't he? Yeah. Have you started the walk on your watch? Oh, no, no. We're starting the outdoor walk on David's watch because for April, it's the Stand Up To Cancer sponsored dog walk. Yeah. Um, well, we've both been impacted by it recently, haven't we? Yeah, we have, which we'll talk about in a bit. But if you happen to have a pound, just one pound, this is the one I'm making an appeal, charity appeal, <laughs> in the wind, which probably won't come out, so I'll do it again later. It's like Terry Wogan. Yeah, I am Terry Wogan. <laughs> but if you've got a pound, um, here, go, if you want to sponsor Marshall's 60 mile sponsored walk for April, it's not easy to do this walking on a beach, <laughs> then there's a link down there in the description. I'll try and put one up in the corner, and if we can do something fancy, there's a QR code if you want to scan that appreciate a pound this day and age can for some people make the difference between paying your bill for heating and having food in your belly so only if you can afford it yeah so if you could you know just a quid we're trying to get to 500 quid for this mutt to walk 60 miles the stand up to cancer sponsored dog walk for april if you have a quid really appreciate you considering sponsoring him because it's such a good cause Very seaweedy, not him. <laughs> I mean, there. Seaweedy, I w seaweedy and windy. Look at you, like Lion, Lion King. King. <laughs> if you watch the vlogs of Marshall, appreciate it, but also understand, not for everyone. So thanks for your patience. 
He started cocking his leg for the first time this week. Marshall, that is. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he's hit teenager years, we think. Yeah. Because we've seen other signs of it as well. Don't go in the sewage. <laughs> he hasn't got very good recall, so we can't take block for the heat yet. He's still, he's still learning. Made the camera very wet to Marshall. <laughs> you look a bit confused, Marshall. <laughs> He's like, I'm not going in it. <laughs> Beethoven. You just Beethoven to me. You Beethoven to me. Oh, don't knock me over. The sun is trying to break through over there. Ferries are going over to the Isle of Wight. Can you hear me? Ferries going to the Isle of Wight. It's very windy. Isle of Wight. And there's a sandy <laughs> beach over there. Someone's doing zoomies, someone's doing zoomies. Oh, Marshall, I never see you look so wet and happy. Yeah, wet and happy doesn't often get scared. Send help, I can't get across the water. <laughs> Marshall, can I have a piggyback? It's a lovely beach. It's a bit stony. I mean, it's a lovely beach in terms of it's half an hour from home. Yeah, and, and he loves it. Yeah, and so. when we were living in Peckham, half an hour would just get you to Peckham. Whereas you literally got to a beach. And we're walking the dog. I said earlier, I know the Marshall Diary vlogs weren't for everyone, so I appreciate all of you who watched. Many of you probably came to us because of Disney content. Or during lockdown, Disney vlogs are finished, although I do have quite a lot of footage of some more shopping. Oh, this doesn't look good. No further public access. Risk of injury. Beach ahead is unsafe. Oh, not for you then, mister. He did a poop. We're on the Lion King Hill. Hello. Don't jump. <laughs> No, go see the note. Oh my god, go back. Fear, fear. You give me fear, dog, you give me fear. Should go and get a cup of tea. Yeah. There you go, you sit down. Got a bacon bap, David's having a soy latte. Marshall's having a bit of apple. And some blueberries. Um, and some blueberries. Yeah. I've got a cup of tea and a bacon bap. It's huh? quite good when we eat, right? He doesn't beg for food. Right? He doesn't beg for food. He's got a good table now. More people arriving. About quarter to twelve. Just over four and a half hours, Marshall, you've got a paddock to run around. I'm looking forward to it because we've got like a, a, a bowl Oh, gun. a Nerf gun, yeah. yeah. We've been using it in the house, which is not <laughs> the best idea. All right, we'll go home, have another cup of tea, and then catch you up on what's been happening. The bacon sony was lush. To be fair, I would have eaten an apple. <laughs> oh. We're back home. David's doing chores in the kitchen. We've had a little bit of lunch. We've had a little sit down. Because that one... He's very tired. It was a nice walk. It was a nice walk. And I've been to Lidl. It's Dutch and Belgian week. Earlier in the week, I went and bought some of these peanut biscuits. They look a bit like a ginger snap. They were delicious, but we finished them. I say by we, I mean me. So I've just been to buy some more. I've also got a couple of plants to stick out the front because it's looking a bit bare in the pots which I will go and do in a minute and I will show you. David's got a toy that arrived for the boy. So it's a ball. It's a ball. Which was quite interesting when I got it out of the packet. We've not... And what does it do? So you turn it on. He's very interested now. It's got a blue light. A disco light. It's a ball. Oh, it's a vibrating ball. Come on, Marshall, show us. Don't take it down the hallway because it's not great for vlogging. What is it, Marshall? No. Let me bring it back. It's supposed to do uh, Hang on. 10 minutes independent play. Oh. Oh, he's taking it upstairs. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? I don't know if we said it earlier, but in the last week. He's got quite possessive, hasn't he, of stuff, which is not a good thing. <laughs> no. And we're working on it. Normally, with food, since he's a puppy, we'd put it down and after I'll pick it up and he'd be fine. You gave him some chews last week and he was like, I'm going upstairs with these and yeah. you can't have them back. He went I... and hid them, didn't he? <laughs> he went and hid with them. I'm going to go and find him. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea is it's 10 minutes independent play. 10 minutes independent play. Oh, no, 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 don't fall down the stairs with it. Oh my God. No, let's not play on the stairs. Come. Come on, Marshall. Come down. Take it it's gone outside with that. We've expanded the pony pen to give him more room. Not allowed on the grass yet. Oh, the ball's going. It's confused him. It's not allowed on the grass yet because I haven't cut it because it's been so wet. So wet. Marshall, you're going to bring it in. Are you going to show us? What's it doing? What's it doing? Let's look at your ball. No, here, yeah, ball. Oh. What? 
dirty face. You've got a bogey on your face. Oh my god. There's a ghost in the house. <laughs> it's actually picking up all the fur from the dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, kitchen, yeah. And I vacuumed two days ago in this kitchen. Oh dear. It's picking up all your fluff, mister. Vibrate, vibrate, vibrate. Oh, he's not too, he's not sure. Oh, you're not sure because you're doing... He's never sure about music. Oh my God. Don't do spins. Hello. Oh, silly bugger. Well, I'm going to go and plant those plants at the front. And then I'm going to come back and have a cup of tea. So I'm going to go and plant the plants I got. I'll show you them. The Bina, Petunia and Calibacoa. And also a couple of freesias. So it's going to go in there, I think. Fill up the gaps. What are you barking at? You're barking up the dirty floor. That's your dirty feet, young man. Yes. There's your ball. There's your ball in the background. It's coming to get you, Marshall. Look, behind you. What's that? I love how it just goes on its own. Yeah, I'll show you the plant when it's done, but also underneath the recycling, it's the dog Nerf gun with the balls that we're taking with us to the paddock later which I've done in the house a few times. Mixed results, did like it. He gets bored quite quick. Anyway, time to dig up some plants. Oh, also, you know, I showed you in the back of the boot earlier, the uh, new strimmer. Looking on the box. Looking on the box. Looking on the box. I don't think I've got the right battery for it. The one I've got is for the saw. And it looks like that. Is it not the right one? And they don't have any more lid on. Oh, so you need to go for a ride somewhere. Uh oh. But that's because that was my job for tomorrow. So I've got the wrong battery. Grass, not been cut since last summer because it's not been dry enough. That's too long for the lawnmower. We did get a strimmer from Lidl the other year, but it's not easy on the hand because it's only got one handle. So it hurts your wrist and also with him, we'd have to be plugged in there, trail the cable, have the door open. It's gonna be chaos when I do stream it. So I thought, I'll go and get a battery one because I've got the battery. Turns out I don't have the battery and I don't have the charger. So that's gonna be another probably 40 quid. I am gonna go and plant those plants and then I'll be back to show you the biscuits. Water them in. Do need to put a bit of compost on these. Swap it up. There we go. There we go. Right, we've got about an hour before we go out. So if you didn't hear it on the beach, we were doing the Stand Up to Cancer oh, yeah. dog walk, which is in April. It's 60 miles, so two miles a day roughly. Um, there's a link up there. There's a QR code here of my face, if we can get one. And there's a link in the description. As I said, I appreciate that times are very tough at the moment. We're trying to get to 500 quid. Yeah. Um, if you have a pound, that'd be great. If you have it, if you don't, absolutely fine. Everyone's been affected, I think, in some way by cancer. Yeah, my, my mum had breast cancer during the pandemic. And then your mum's been poorly, hasn't she? Yeah, last summer we got, when we went to see my mum, she looked like she had a lot of weight loss. And she had some blood tests because of her diabetes and they found something was a bit off. So she went for some scans and then she got a copied in on a letter back to her GP where it said that she had pancreatic cancer. That was happening last summer just at the point at which we decided we were going to get Marshall. Our Walt Disney trip was in September. So we decided that we weren't going to go. Anyway, it turns out that was a misdiagnosis. She didn't have pancreatic cancer. They, didn't know, good news. they didn't know what it was at that point other than the fact that there was um, a shadow in her bile duct. So we only found out the week before we were going away that um, any operation to remove a bile duct, which is not a small operation, would not be for the next few weeks. We got confirmation it wasn't going to be while we were away. Or if it was going to happen, it was going to be in the second week. So we decided we would go, yeah. but we would get an early flight back. As it turns out, we didn't have to because our operation didn't happen until January. So that's part of the reason we've been a bit slow with vlogs, not only because of the dog, but also yeah. because of the stress of my mum. And then in January, because she had an operation, um, we went to my parents and they live in Cornwall. So we had to take the dog and a four-month we puppy. Two weeks, weren't we? In the rain and all the stress that involved. So yeah, yeah. We've, we've been AWOL for, the, for those reasons. So we expected the, the Walt Disney series of vlogs to be done and dusted probably before Christmas. 
but it didn't get done until no, we had no time over the weekends did we and if you've seen the dog diaries you understand it's still chasing the ball you understand that you know it's not been that's that also hasn't been simple anyway so that's another reason why we were doing the dog walk because even though my mum didn't have a cancerous tumour she did have a tumour which thankfully was benign but precancerous and she also has a precancerous polyp in a colon so we thought we got a dog we go going walkie we might as yeah. well try and raise some money for a really good cause and two miles is probably the top so he can manage at the moment without starting to protest like he throws himself on the floor when he's and, enough and that's also for Marshall as well as me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like he's quite he's got a few habits at the moment like if he sees another dog he will sit because he knows we can't move him and even food doesn't work and he'll not just, a motivator he just sits and waits for, waits the, for, the, for the dog to come up. come up to him so he can say hello and then he jumps around and is like happy 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 which is fine but when you have to be working 10 minutes and you're in the middle of the park because he hasn't moved <laughs> it can be quite tricky but um, he, lo- he like he loves walking, so it's a great thing for us to be able to do. Uh, so he's doing it. So I think we're on track at the moment. We're on track. Yeah, we're about a third way through the month, and he's done a third. I think he wants his ball. The ball is the other side of the uh, baby gate. Do you want to go and get it? So that's the reason we're doing the Stand Up to Cancer dog walk. So as I said, I appreciate times are really tough, and a pound, it's not just a pound these days. A pound can make the difference between people eating and not eating. Also, the difference between paying a heat bill and not paying a heat bill so i totally get it if you can't donate not a problem but if you've got a pound really appreciate it that's the end of my begging <laughs> are we having lunch we've had lunch we had sushi oh yeah we had a bacon sandwich at the beach we had a croissant <laughs> for breakfast i mean how many meals are we having today i'm a fatty I i'm need a fatty food. too but i'm gonna have a cup of tea and i'm gonna try those biscuits i say try them i've had them i'm gonna have some more biscuits cool do you want to try a biscuit they're nice biscuits. Have oh, you had one? Yeah, I had the one the other night. They've got dairy in. The peanut ones? Yeah. Oh, that might be why I've not been feeling very well. <laughs> <laughs> we've got an hour till we go out, oh. but we're going to take you to the paddock. It's a cup of tea time in my golden retriever mug. It's not a cliche at all. Uh, that was one of the Christmas gifts from David. Thank you very much, David. I've never heard of Dutch style peanut biscuits until this week. Look, look like a ginger snap or a tweel. Well, it looks a bit burnt, but it's not. But it's delicious. If you like peanuts, these are the biscuits for you. Although, when this comes out, Dutch and Belgian week would have been finished at Lidl. There might be some left in your local one. There might not. I've stocked up. There's probably not many left in ours now, because <laughs> most of ours, are, most of theirs, are in the garage. Marshall's finally settled down. David's dedicated a bit of tootsies. Give us a little twinkle. There we go. Twinkle, twinkle. So I'm grab a tea and biscuits and get his guns ready and balls ready for the uh, paddock. Marshall, hello. Come on, lift your bum up. What we've learnt with the Golden Retriever, back legs, as we said before, they're for show only, aren't they, Marshall? Back legs are for show. Let's take you to the paddock. Someone's looking very cute in the car. I said someone's looking very cute in the aircon. <laughs> yeah, he's looking very sleepy. He doesn't look like a dog that's about to go running. <laughs> he doesn't have to. We can just chill out. It's a space where you can roam free two minutes away. I'm quite excited. Yeah, I am. Like, what's it called? Poor Paddock. So it's Poor Paddock, so there's an app, and there's quite a few of them in the south area where we are. I don't know if they go beyond that. But yeah, you join the app, you can book a paddock in one of the areas. This 11 pounds for 55 minutes. That gives you five minutes to clear out before the next people turn up. What I don't want is people turning up while there's other dogs there because the yeah. dogs might be nervous. So you get like a five minute to hand over. Yeah. Going over the River Test. Now we've been here weirdly. There's a pub around the corner. We went to the pub. In a quarter of a mile, turn left oh, towards yeah. Salisbury Lane. It's called the Duke. It was really nice, the Duke there. pub here. Oh, we went there when we went to National Trust Place. We did. Oh, it's literally opposite. Four, then your destination yeah. will be on the right. Oh. Nice pub. Very nice pub there. Here we go, left down here. Oh, 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 oh. oh here it's it is on the there. right. Here we go, it's on the right. Poor paddock. Your destination oh. is on the right. There we go, no one in there. That's a good sign. We have to drive into there. Okay, I'll go and open it. Yeah. Drive in, the space for two cars. And David's got to lock the gate, and then I reverse back, and then nobody can um, get in. David? 
There's a sign on the outside, you need to turn it to... to... Occupy. Yeah. Marshall's getting a little bit excited. Just trying to run David over. Try not to run David over. Need to get in the boot, need to get in the boot. Right, we're here, Marshall. If you back up, then in theory, no one can come in, but I need to get stuff out of the boot. So this is it, poor paddock, three acres. They've got six foot fences, so a dog escape proof. And they also have fencing under the ground. So if your dog is a borrower, no, a burrower, it can't get in. I thought it was supposed to have a little shaded area and a watering hole, but clearly not on this one. Poo bins, poo bags. Right, should I through the gate? Yeah. In you go, come, come, come. This is going to give him some time to uh, to explore. This place is massive though. Oh, there's like dog agility stuff over there where you can jump over poles. What are you sniffing at? No, oh, you're going to do a wee wee, making it yours. All right. So he's got some toys to play with and got balls and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you remind me of Alan Carr. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, so he's going to get the balls. Got football. Oh, that's cool. Should go over to the agility stuff. You got it. Oh, you got it. You got it. So as I was saying, it's 11 pounds for 55 minutes. I've just set an alarm for 520 because what do I look like? <laughs> I'm bloody Amish. Set an alarm for 520 because it then gives us five minutes to do you, want the, do you want the gun? Take his arm in the nerf. Marshall. 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 What's this? Wait. Whoa. Boom. Over there. Alarm's going off at 5.20, so we've got five minutes then to get back and be out by 5.25. This is the first time he's been off lead in such a big area. This one's been open since June, I think, 2023. This, new fences. Around the edge, got a nice little path. Oh, you've got a little dog jump. I think he's just excited having a sniff. Yeah. I think I'm more excited to find the Nerf gun <laughs> rather than him running after it, carrying my Nerf balls. Yeah, you've got these little fences that you can change the height of. That's quite good. That's very cool. Do you want to jump over the fence? No, of course you don't. Marshall. Where's Daddy? Look, Marshall. Marshall. Over, over, over. Brilliant. Yay. Yay. That's my boy. <laughs> Boom. He's definitely a tired dog today, isn't he? Yeah, well, the from, beach. from the beach. Oh, stupid me. I left the bag over there, it's got water in for him. Stupid. The dog trainer said, if he gets frothy at the mouth when he's walking, which he is doing at the moment, it's because bitches are in season. So he's frothing at the gash because bitches are in season. There's agility steps, which he ain't gonna do. Picnic table. Moss was like, I'm a bit bored, Daddy. Can we not go home? <laughs> no. Can we go home? There's a lake. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Nice walking. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, my God. I was expecting that to go over. <laughs> yeah, nice little paths. Bit of bound gravel solid fence solid post yeah nice and secure as well as the nerf gun got the standard sticky throw throw stick ready, ready. Steady. which he seems to love oh. it's like i can't see it daddy there there it goes wow oh my god our dog's running <laughs> he's lost the ball oh no go find it Go on, you're a retriever. Retriever, retrieve it. So I booked this about a month out. I mean, the weather, you know, keep moaning about, really wet. So I didn't want to book one and come when it's muddy because I don't want a muddy dog. That's no fun. Ooh. So booked it a month out and I thought, if it's still wet, I can cancel it. And I think you can cancel or amend it up to 24 hours before. Just picking my ball up. So we've got another one of these next week and I've not booked any in for June yet. He looks like a cowboy. Oh, 
<laughs> I wouldn't say cowboy. <laughs> Look like a gay boy. Snacking. You're tired. Have some water, bubs. Have some water. We'll go whenever you're ready, Marshall. I don't want to force you to run around because you're knackered. So let's do tidy up and get back in the car. So you said you've got a tap. You've got poo bags, well stocked, well stocked poo bags. Very safe gate, two poo bins, and a security gate. Wait, 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 wait. You leave the gate open so people can drive in, which makes sense. Dog is warm, let's open the windows. Take me home. 21 minutes to get home. Oh. You got everything? Yeah. I toys, so. toys, got, dog. Your, got your phone, you've got the dog. Cheeky little. Croissant. Vegan croissant for a little bit of sustenance on the way back. And I've sprayed my hand with anti back obviously, because I've picked up a poo. Such is life these days. Right. You're hot, aren't you, Marshall? Right, let's get on the road and get you cooled down. Oh, panty, panty, panty. Which is ironic, because David's literally in his pants, because he's just changing clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all for today, folks. But we're back tomorrow, aren't we? Yeah, in three. Two. One. Oh, we've changed sides. Morning. It's Sunday the 14th. That's his duck, not, <laughs> not his other end. We had an evening of watching telly, didn't we? We did. Scent Club. Family came round, we had jack potatoes for dinner. The boy was asleep for most of the evening. Finally laid and fell asleep on the carpet, which he's never done. So it shows how tired he was, because normally he just goes chaotic in there. Morning chaos. Oh. Almost nine o'clock. Yeah, I've been up for a couple of hours. I've started Sunday lunch because I've got a friend coming for dinner. I say friend, it's my um, old work husband. Him and his brother were down in Southampton watching the Southampton the Watford game yesterday. So my work husband has stayed on and he's coming for lunch. Not seen him for a couple of years. I want to string the garden. So we want to get him on the lawn. Ow. Been bitten. Oh no, Marshall. Why am I doing this and using the, doing the camera, Marshall? What's oh dear? So I'd like to do swimming, but work husband's not going home until this afternoon. So whether there's time to do that, I don't know. Plus, at some point, I need to edit this vlog, don't I, Mister? Yes. Oh yes. We've got blinds in the kitchen. Very exciting, isn't it? Well, it is because it, it gets so warm in here. As David said, yeah, it does get warm in here. When the sun's up, now it's springtime. You sit here and the sun's in your eyes. You can't work and you can't really use this sofa. You stick the thing on there. You stick the thing on there. It's got a little peg at the top. And then these blinds attach on. You can move them up and down independently. So you can just put them where you want. Four blinds. Yeah, and they don't affect your window. Because you can get those ones which go into the, uh, what you call it, sealant. But no, these are two big strips that go either side of the glass. And at the bottom and the top, as I said, they've got little pegs that come out and then this bit pushes on. So yeah, blackout blinds. Also, they what? will um, keep the heat out in the summer. Oh yeah. Because it's that south facing gets very hot. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to spend money on blinds. But then we ended up, within the first half an hour, like, oh, that's great, because there's no sun coming through and we can sit mm. here. In the morning, like, when we're working here, or when one of us is working here, it gets very sunny. Yeah, sunny and bright. I thought the dog was going to pour at the bit at the bottom, but so far yet. he hasn't yet. Yeah, I'd be very unhappy if he did that. We need to take him for a walk. I need to have a cup of tea. So far, potatoes parboiled, parsnips and carrots ready. <laughs> Wet. Wet? Should we take you for a walk, mister? <coughs> okay. Sunday morning. I think that was a yes. Sunday morning. <coughs> Sunday morning. Marshall, you trust to be, we want you to be sweet because we want people to sponsor you for your walk. For stand up to cancer. Another shameless plug. Link up there. Or link down there and there's a QR code. Shameless over. being the word. <laughs> QR code over David's face. Okay, let's take him. <coughs> oh, it's much later. It's about... It's actually caught away at night. We've all had separate naps. I was a little asleep on the sofa. David's been upstairs in bed having a nap and the dog was asleep on the floor. And then the dog woke up and it was chaos for all of us as it is. Last meal of the day for the dog. Sit, Marshall. Leave, good boy. Five, four, three, two, one. Up you go. Good boy. Nice. And that's the leftovers of the uh, roast that we had. So we've got, we've got another meal to have at some point there. 
What I did want us to talk about before we end is that when last time you saw us, we'd just taken the dog for a walk. We went to Starbucks. Outside Starbucks, there's a couple. Ooh, and they yeah. saw us coming. I could see the lady. There was a they guy and a woman. They saw us coming. They saw you coming. They did. There was a lady. I saw her looking at us as we were, as we were approaching. And she was looking at the dog. And they were like, oh, yeah, that's not unusual that people get excited and they see the dog. But then they're like, oh, how are you? How old is he? It's like seven months. It's like, oh, we're going to Newbrief to the dog show today. And like, oh, that's nice. Have a lovely time. Um, did you get him local? Or did you get him up north? I'm like, yeah, we got him local. It's like, um, what's his parents like? Is his dad big? Can he do any tricks? And I'd read online about dog thieves. They wanted to know whether he'd been neutered or not. Yeah, they asked said so many questions. And it's, you know when you just get a red flag warning in your, in your head? And I looked at Dave thinking... Oh, they're trying to scope out either the dog or the breeder. And we didn't give any details or any other we'll fact. We started that making stuff up, didn't we? Yeah. It was a local breeder, and like, uh, uh, yeah. So we went inside, got David's coffee from the Starbucks, and my head was racing, thinking, "Oh my god, we're going to go back outside, and he's going to grab the dog, and he's going to pile him in a van." I was like, "I'm going to throw my coffee at them," and I'm like, "I don't have anything in my hand to attack them with." It was just really, really odd and a bit. Dis- Disturbing. So then we went a different way home. But then every time I saw some, <laughs> after that, I'm like, are they part of the same gang? Are they going to come and get us? Yeah. So we took the dog a long way home, but I'm like, oh God, we just need to get back. It was, yeah, quite unsettling. We did check and the Newbury Dog Show is on today. But I'm like, that's a perfect cover story. It was just the questions around like, what's his parents like? How old is he? Yeah. Has well, he been- that's a normal question people ask, but... Like, mm. they were really interested in his parents and where we got him from and what the breeder's name was, which we didn't tell them. No. And whether he'd been neutered or not. Because she's like, oh, I'm looking to get one. Did you get him from up north or from around here? I'm like, why have I got them from up north? And also, if you've been looking, you would know the breeders in the area. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a bit weird. I've ordered him a tracker. So he, in case he, like, we need to keep track. Well, something. like an Apple tag. No, like a proper poor tracker. Because they said don't put Apple tags on dogs. Why? Because you need a phone signal to connect to the Apple tag, apparently, for it to track. Um. So he's got he's going to get a proper tracker. That'll come tomorrow, so we'll show you that next time. Oh, oh hello. 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 Oh, you just have your final meal of the day. Lovely. All right. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I think someone needs our attention. So. Yeah. Um, so that's a bit of a catch up for what we've been up to. And uh, oh, yeah, I didn't get around to doing the grass. Never did find a battery from Lidl. That'll be on my list of things to do this week. And then strimming the grass next week, assuming the good weather continues. Yeah, but, it has been nice, hasn't it? But yeah, it's now 10 to 8. It's getting dark, as you can see by the darkness in this vlog. The dark. That's very dramatic. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll do another update soon when we actually get up to something. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. Bye. I was going to click. Bye. What are you doing, Marshall? Yes, we're watching you. Shaky, shaky, lovely.